Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to Divine Lady Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed, and today we are here for Slow Stitching Saturday and we're going to work on some sashiko. So let's get started. <laughs> Good morning or good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel thank you for taking some time out of your day and spending it with me while we do a little bit of slow stitching now for those that don't know there are many interpretations of slow stitching this is what I interpret as slow stitching I am going to um, do some sashiko today I often do embroidery I sometimes do uh, cross stitch I sometimes do English paper piecing anything that is done by hand with a needle and thread is pretty much what I do all right so the last time that you've seen this uh we it was a new start and basically i have got all this done um since then and pretty much just worked on it um during the time um i was editing over a couple of weeks and um I haven't touched it for probably about three or four weeks now, but uh, maybe three weeks, I think it is, that I haven't touched. But you can see that we've got a fair bit done. So I'm going to continue on working on this today. And hopefully, um, as I've been doing, when I work on something on Slow Stitching Saturday, then the following week when I'm doing editing, I will actually work on this while I'm waiting for things to export and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah. So what has been happening? Not a great deal of stuff has been happening. I have just been busy in the background um, doing lots of stitching and all that sort of stuff, working on um, projects for Patreon and all that sort of, all that sort of stuff, you know, just that stuff. Now, where am I up to? I'm just here somewhere. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, grab yourself a cuppa um, and um, grab yourself a project it doesn't have to be sashiko but um, this is what I'm working on and at the moment I'm just trying to find my way around sometimes I've just got to take one or two stitches at a time um, which is fine especially in this section here I've, I've sort of just trying to take it easy so it looks nice and neat so since the last time um, I spoke to you about this particular um, project I have decided that um, I am going to I was going to turn it into a cushion um, but I have actually decided to um, get some more of these from the quilt shows and um, basically I am going to make myself a quilt so now what I'm going to do is um, collect some different types of fabric um, in Japanese linen and I'm thinking in a blue because this is red this is white and then have just some nice blue fabrics but I'll play it by ear I'll, I'll take the um, wherever my thread just went I just had it here somewhere oh what have I done with that I must have put it back on here did I no Oh, it's always the way. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so I'll take this with me when I go to the quilt show um, and just match it up against some fabrics and choose the fabrics that way. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. Well, that's what I am going to do. I think it's going to make an amazing um, quilt in that aspect. So that's, that's all where I'm going with these now. So I'm thinking maybe nine of these. I'm thinking like a, a, a three by three square quilt because um, I'm not necessarily making it for my bed because if I was making it for my bed I have a queen size bed so I'd need to have more than that um, so I'm thinking uh, a nine by nine and um, then just you know and then just border these and a very very simple quilt nothing too uh, strenuous because I mean working with Japanese linen can be a little bit um, frustrating at times because it does fray and whatnot um, so I'm thinking that just um, just some basic blocks maybe uh, I mean I could probably turn it into um, like a 9x9 nine nine in the center with just a simple sashing in it and then maybe have some quilt blocks around the outside um, just some basic ones maybe some log cabins or something like that I don't know it is still a, a thought process at the moment it's definitely nothing that has been 100% um, designed out so um, 
yeah I'm just sort of playing around with ideas in my head at the moment and of course I've still got to get the fabrics and I've still got to stitch out you know another um, several of these now I do have another sashiko that is this size and it has like the four seasons on it I don't think I want to do the four seasons I actually just want to have patterns like this so that's why I've got to sort of hunt for them um, they don't necessarily have to be just like this I can have one that's entirely geometrical but I sort of there was a few that I seen um, at the last quilt show that I went to and I think that they will work really well so I'm going to when I go to Townsville um, for the quilt show up there I'm hoping that this supplier will be up there um, if not I do have their little card um, for their shop and whatnot and I'm pretty sure they're online as well so I can always go and check online um, and see what they've got on there if I don't find anything that I like in August when I go up um, yeah, this is this will definitely be a, a long work in progress because you know I've got to stitch the nine out, um, and then I've got to find the right fabrics as well. I'm going to be probably very particular with my fabrics, um, but you will if you're part of our Patreon, you'll get updates on that sort of stuff because we do whip updates and whatnot. Um, so yeah, um, you will definitely see that for sure. Right. and this one I've, I'm finding that it's just easier to like find a straight line and just and it gets filled in like when I get to the flowers I go around the flowers but um, yeah I'm just finding it a bit easier to just fill it in that way because otherwise I find that I'm twisting and turning and it doesn't always work <laughs> I am thoroughly enjoying doing my sashiko though. But I don't work on it all the time either. I just do it when I when the mood strikes me and I'm really enjoying it when I am working on it. Um, in fact, I'm enjoying doing a lot of different stitching at the moment. It's It's just been a fun time. And of course, I've been doing some stitching for the magazine and stuff like that as well in the process of stitching something at the moment which I haven't made a lot of progress on it I really need to get my finger out of my butt and get it done because it's for the um, for an up and coming issue not the winter issue it's coming for another one um, so yeah got to get my finger out and get that sorted so how has everybody been you've been really good been getting lots of why did not I just come out and got to go back in there is that yeah sometimes the stenciling is not that crash hot on these but I think it's going to be absolutely yeah you know what just sitting here thinking about it I think that would be really good have these all in the center so a nine by nine in the center just with a simple sashing between them um, and then just have a, a series of blocks going around it then it'll be big enough to be on my and then finishing with a simple border then that is going to be very um, like a decent size and it'll be able to use on my bed then or even as a wall hanging walls are big enough in here because of the 12 foot ceilings I'm really liking the red and white together I think that is it's just very striking works well for me <laughs> so let's get that out of the way
thing with these sort of videos, you start, you get into like the zone and you forget that you're filming <laughs> and forget to talk. Um, but I won't be keeping you too long today. I do have a few things that I've got to get done as well. And I've got the magazine to sort out. A bit of a tight schedule. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're um, working on today. And thank you to everybody that's joined me today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up down below. That way um, I know that you're liking the video. And uh, yeah, also let me know what you're working on. Um, it's always interesting to see what people are working on when I'm um, stitching away. It's a great way to just sit down and and um, have some company and get some stitches done into your projects and it doesn't have to be sashiko it can be anything that you want got a couple of bind I got a binding to do this week actually I've got two bindings to do this week I don't think I'm gonna get to the second one though that's last on my one of my quilts so it's not a customers but yes, I do have two bindings to do. This is a very um, relaxing craft because essentially you're just following um, the lines that are marked so there's not a great deal of thinking which is good sometimes we need that don't we we just need that time to sit back relax and do some stitching without having to count or think about it um, you know just just stitch These would make nice cushions, like if you had a nice leather couch um, in black and you just did this, and it'd look really nice. It's a little bit chilly here today. I'm just going to pull my jumper sleeves down because I'm a bit chilly. They'd look very striking, like if you had a, a nice Japanese, maybe a black and gold uh, Japanese fabric on the back with some like fans or something like that. I think that would look absolutely gorgeous hopefully that's not too much moving around for you it's sort of it is sort of a, a craft that um, I tend to move around a bit just so it's comfortable in my hands I don't strain my hands or anything like that
thinking about um, a couple of projects that I've got that um, are quite large embroidery projects I'm thinking about putting them onto the wheel as well so I can uh, spin them up and yeah Alright, so what we might do is we'll cut to find out what we're going to be working on next time. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about that and, and whatnot. So let's cut to that video and find out what we're going to be working on next time. Alright, so let's find out what we're going to be stitching on next time we have Slow Stitching Set Day. It's another new start. Okay, so I'm super excited about working on this one. This one, hopefully that's not too much glare for you. This was a birthday present that I got from um, from Gail from Wombat Hollow Crafts. I got this a couple of years ago and I've been a bit nervous about starting it, but I put it on the wheel because it's 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 so pretty. I just love the look of it. And it's called Moonlit um, Owl and it's like... Um, it's white work and basically it's like it reminds me of cruel embroidery so that's what the words I'm trying to get out so let's open it up and have a look so as I said that is what it looks like it's got a booklet of instructions with it on what to do um, this one I'll end up having to put I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to end up having this into a hoop for sure in um, in my stand hoop that I used for my embroidery so you can see it's giving me all the information that I need to complete it. This is what it's going to look like. Um, I am actually, to, I already know that I'm going to be turning this into a small cushion for in my bedroom. Um, yeah, and then it's got its layout and it tells you what all the stitches that I need to do and everything like that. Um, and it's, it's called, it's, it's white work, but it's got um, greys and stuff in it. So let's have a look what else. We've got a couple of needles that came with it. Then it comes with its printed linen, so I don't have to worry about um, tracing that out or anything like that. So um, yeah, this is a, a linen that it comes with. Does it tell me on the back what it actually comes with? Uh, 28, a full colour instruction booklet of 24 pages, sorry not 28. Um, it comes with a piece of Irish ca uh, cambric linen fabric and it's uh, pre-printed and it also comes with the stranded cotton, the flosh and cotton broider threads and needles. Um, and it, it is the designer of this is, um, hang on, is it the designer or the publica? Well, it's got it here, published by Trish Burr from Cape Town, South Africa. So I'm assuming she is, yes, it is. She's also got an Etsy store too, so you can see there. Go and check out her Etsy store. You might be able to get this um, particular one. So I'll just hold that up again for you. So it's um, etsy.com slash shop uh, Trish Burr Embroidery. Okay, so if you can go and check her out. This is from 20, uh, 2012. Was um, th This was copyright. Um, so yeah, that is interesting. And that is what our little... Um, printed like it's not it's not huge like it, it's and it's not little little either so it's a decent size so it's about the the span of my hand so that is that and then these are the beautiful colors that we have so um we have this is floche is it how it's oh it's so soft um that's how that is pronounced by the looks of it i don't know how to pronounce that um, so yeah, and then we've got your DMC threads and then we've got some more, some black and some grey. So there's that um, and as I said that has some needles in it. So it's got two needles there and it's got another two needles in this pack as well. So and the colours that are used in it, I'll leave those needles in there, are 3799, uh, 415, which is a pretty colour, 317, 318, uh, blank, 
and oh what do we got here we've got some white in that one yep and um then we've got 310 so yeah so it's um and i'm assuming that is like a the same as 310 so um but it's in whatever that is flush flush <laughs> I can't pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. So that's super exciting. We have a new start. I have not done anything like this before, so this will be really interesting um, to do, and um, I'm looking forward to it. So we'll be starting that next time we come back. Now, um, I'm thinking that, as I was saying, I think I said earlier, I'm thinking that um, for slow stitching that day, because I think I may have even said it on my um, uh, Stitch With Me, um, Slow Stitching Saturday is probably going to be every two weeks, um, just until Nera Lee gets her license, because it seems like um, at the moment she is working fortnightly uh, every second Saturday, and so we're trying to go out and do something on the Saturday that she's home to get her hours up. So um, if I'm home, I'll put one up. If I'm not... Um, then it'll go up the second one but I can pretty much say safely say for the last couple of weeks it has been every two weeks so sorry about the rustling um, so yeah so just be aware that it may be every two weeks but that is what we're going to be working on next that is so pretty I'm looking forward to it all right now we know what we're going to be um, working on next time um, I've also got a English paper piecing um, Dear Jane quilt on the go. I've only done four blocks on it, and I'm thinking that I'm going to add that to the um, the wheel as well because that way I'll work on it. Because right now it's sitting in my sewing basket, and I don't even think about it because I don't see it. Whereas if I see it on that wheel um, every time I spin, it's going to bring it to the forefront of my mind. Um, and I sort of just need to, to start getting some of this stuff done. I'm still in the process of collecting blue fabric for that too. So that that is also another reason why not much progress has been done on that particular project. But it needs to come out of the sewing box and get done. Because the blocks are only four inches. Uh, next time I come on slow stitching, I'll remind myself to bring it so I can show you. Um, but I'm thinking that I need to really need to add it on um, to the wheel and uh, get that spun up. And then that way I can get some little blocks done. It, it is sort of a, a life of a project. It's not a project that I'm in a rush to finish it's sort of a project that is just there to work on every now and again um so yeah but i'd like to just bring it out and get it all sorted and um have it out in its own container and not in my sewing box because the sewing box is somewhat you know pushed aside and and not really thought about very often so it sort of needs to come out into one of my clear containers that I can see the label I can see it on the wheel um, and it'll just bring it to the forefront of my mind as I was saying and get it done coming together quite nicely isn't it I've got a lot of editing to do this week um, a lot of transferring of files and stuff like that and that all takes considerable more time than you would probably think it does um, so it's a great way to ha if I've got that sitting there I just every time I'm exporting or transferring files and and whatnot I'll just put a couple of stitches in and that's how I got all this done um, originally because um, yeah the only thing i haven't done is the french knots because i need to get it up in my big hoop to do the french knots because you can see here i tried to do them in hand and they did not turn out very well at all 
Um, they are definitely something that you need to have free, uh, two free hands for. Um, so yeah. It's hard, like, you're supposed to do the, like, when you're doing such K, you're supposed to do the, like, running stitch like this, where you do the rocking method. But when you've been doing, like, embroidery and, <laughs> and all that sort of stuff, you tend to forget to do the rocking method and you start doing, like, one stitch at a time. Because um, you're supposed to load your needle up. That's the whole point of it. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I forget to do it. See, and then we got all that done. So my little um, needle just unthreaded. <clears throat> Cold weather is definitely upon us. And um, my nose is running like a tap. <laughs> All right, so we have got in 30 minutes of stitching on this. I have a few things that I need to go and do. So I am going to call it a day on this one. Um, obviously this one will pop up again if it hasn't already been finished um, during the, um, uh, during my editing and all that sort of stuff. I. Um, it will go back onto the wheel if not if it gets finished it'll get removed off the wheel so if i do finish it i will definitely give you an update um, next time we come back for slow stitching that day but right now i'm going to call it a day i just like to say thank you very much to everybody that has been hanging around um, and uh, hanging out with me and doing some stitching and all that sort of stuff don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.